Hello everybody, welcome to Michigan by the Bottle. This is Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. Last week we were down in Baroda and we tasted well, some wines. Figuratively. <laughs> Figuratively we were in Baroda and we tasted some wines from Round Barn. Mm -hmm. And just down the street from Round Barn is Free Run Cellars. Free Run is run by the two sons uh, at Round Barn, Chris mm -hmm. and Matt Morsch. So we're going to try a couple of their wines this week. Okay. And soon we will literally go down there and see them, but we're just going to be figured out today. <laughs> Free Run Cellars, Cabernet Franc, Private Reserve 2007. Comes again from the Lake Michigan Shore Appalachian. This one was $17.99, I believe, on the website. Yeah, about $18. Mm -hmm. The first thing I notice as I'm pouring it is it's... Really light. Very light. Yeah. A lot of Michigan Pinots are, uh, are are very light, and it's usually the Cab like, Francs are a little a little darker. So it's almost like different. um like cranberry juice looking. Yeah. Sorry. Give it a little whirl, right? Yep. What you get? Pepperoni. Usually that's your word. Yeah, you stole my pepperoni. I'll have to steal your fruit today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny is when we first opened this, I was getting more of this smell than I am now, so maybe it's just because it's been breathing for a few mm -hmm. minutes, but I, when we first opened it, I kind of was describing a scene where I'm walking down US 31 in Traverse City, and you get you walk by the campgrounds, and it's it just all the campfire smell is emanating from there. I really got that originally. I think it's yeah. dissipated a little. A little bit. Still a little smoky. Really spicy. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. light at first but then I'll, I almost feel like then it gets heavier on your tongue after a second. It's not a fruity Cabernet Franc at all. I think it's very earthy. I like um, it. Smoky. I have to admit I snuck a snap sip a few minutes ago and I think I like it now better than I did then. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, sometimes these wines need to breathe a little bit. They need a little bit of oxygen in them and uh, you know by letting it oh, Keep stay open a little bit. Sometimes that helps. Definitely got the tongue fuzz going on now. Yeah. And it's I didn't really expect that because of how light looking it is in the glass. Mm -hmm. You know, it definitely isn't syrupy or heavy like some yeah. of the bigger ones are. <clears throat> I think it's it's a lot lighter than a lot of Michigan Cab Francs, but if if you like uh, more earth tones, more you know more dirt flavored, and not in a bad way because I like dirt. Um, <laughs> that's that's absolutely what we're getting here. All right. Let's, let's try their, their white offering. They have a 2007 dry Riesling. Private Reserve again. And that didn't have the, the price on the website, so maybe they can, uh, if you're watching this, you can hit us up on the comments and let us know how much this one costs. Absolutely. This one is very pale. It's almost um, champagne-y looking. Yeah. It's, you definitely got the little bubbly... Yeah. Look going on. Absolutely. Yeah, real pale. Yeah. Real pale. For a dry reason. Let's give it some air, right? Yep. And let's give it a smell. Right off the bat, I don't want to say fruit. <laughs> I want to say something more interesting than fruit. <laughs> I'm getting that, uh, though, that, that I think you mentioned cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yeah, definitely cotton candy. candy. And kind of like cotton candy doused in apple juice. Okay. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe a little grapefruit juice. Let's try it. It's a little more grapefruit. I disagree. See, it's weird because I think maybe it's just because I'm not wine expert enough, but I know this is dry. This says dry right on the front, but to me, this is hitting me as sweet. Yeah. It's not as sweet as like a late harvest Riesling, but I, I would say it's probably not all the way. There, there is no Riesling scale, um, sweetness scale. Sweet meter, as you call it in the past. Right. So we don't know exactly where it falls. I mean, the, the, it's labeled as a dry Riesling. I am guessing it is not um, bone dry because I, yeah. I, I'm getting some of that, what I think is residual sugar. Yeah. But maybe it is just the fruit, you know, masking the, uh, the dryness. Yeah. 
but it definitely isn't like, you know, sometimes you, yeah, you take a sip of something that's bone dry and you're just like, I mean, that's the first thing that hits you. The first descriptor yeah. that hits you is dry and it's definitely, Not dry would be way down the list for me if I had to give you my first impressions. Yeah, th this tastes like kind of watered down apple juice. It's not as strong as apple juice, but I still get some of that flavor. Yeah, I definitely mock covered cotton candy. <laughs> Mott's, Mott's, Mott's apple, apple juice. juice flavored cotton candy, yeah. Yeah, not Mott, the camera operator on Wine Library. Today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's almost, there's still a little bit of that citrusy in it. You know, some people when they cut an apple, they sprinkle a little bit of uh, like lemon juice on yeah. it to to keep it fresh. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the the the, the taste okay. that I'm getting on that because I'm, I'm definitely getting the apple, the apple juice, but just just a spritz of of citrus or lemon. I don't know, like cotton candy still dominating for me. Yeah. I'm not getting the lemon. Not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm not getting it. Free run sellers, let us know if you've been there. Yep. Um, again, we don't get down to the Lake Michigan Shore area often enough. But um, we will be going soon. We'll be going we're soon. Making we're making our way down. We're going to be trying several of the wineries at that time. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to know what other wineries we should stop at while we're down there. Yeah, what should we check out? What do you want to see on the podcast? Absolutely. Leave some comments. Let us know. Most importantly, April 13th is coming up yes. very soon. Do you know what that is? Tweet and Taste Michigan, yep. featuring Shady Lane Cellars. Yep. We've been getting some good press on it, so that's exciting. A, a ton of press, a ton of people talking about it in the Twitterverse. Yep. So check it out. Go to TweetandTasteMichigan.com. It has details how you can get free shipping on wines from Shady Lane Cellars. One penny. Shipping for a penny. Practically free. Practically free. And there's a cool video of me in my Lammy robe, so you know what more can That's true. And, and... April is Michigan Wine Month, so a good excuse to drink Michigan wines, and we are going yes. up north in a couple days, so we're going to hit a bunch of Old Mission and Leelanau wineries, and we're going to have all kinds of, t tons of new stuff for you, we're going to have new video features, we're going to yep. have podcasts right from the wineries, we're going to have um, some articles about some exciting upcoming stuff, and so... And I'm guessing we're probably going to bring home some wine? We might. We might bring some home some wine. Keep checking out the site, michiganbythebottle.com. You can see all the new cool stuff that we're doing. Yep. And we're supporting the state with every sip.